Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today's video is going to be an intro into buttons. So the example I made for today is we have a button down here and when I click on it, it changes the color of the part behind me. So whenever I click this button, you can see that the part changes color. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add a button on the screen. To do that, go ahead and go over to the Explore menu and find the section that says Starter GUI. You're going to click on the plus sign. The first thing we're going to add is a Screen GUI. Next, under the Screen GUI, we're going to click on the plus sign. And now we're going to add a Text button. And once you do that, you should see a button that shows up on the screen. You can click and drag this button to wherever you want. And down here under the properties, there's a whole bunch of properties that you can change with this button. I'm only going to change a few of them, but feel free to look through this and customize it to however you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the text that's on this button. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you locate the text section. After that, you're going to find the section that says text. And if you edit this part right here, it'll change the text that appears on the button. So I'm going to change this to change color just like that. And one more change I'm going to make, I'm going to make the text a little bit lar larger. So that's also under the text section. And this time we're going to be looking for font size or text size. And you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to make it 32. Okay, so that's all we have to do for the button. Okay, let's go ahead and add the part now. So that's all the elements we have to add to the game. So let's go ahead and start scripting. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that text button over in the Explore menu. We're going to click on the plus sign and add a script to it. Go ahead and delete the print hello world message. We're going to be making a variable for this button. So let's go ahead and say local button is equal to script.parent. We're also going to make a variable for the part. So we're going to say local part is equal to game dot workspace dot part okay after that we're going to make a function so local function and you can name it whatever you want to inside the function we're going to be changing the parts color so to do that we're going to reference part dot and then brick color and we're going to set this equal to brick color dot random so down here at the bottom we're gonna start with the word button dot and then mouse button one click just like that we're gonna do colon connect and then inside the parentheses we're going to put the name of the function that we want to connect to this so that'll be color so what this is doing this bottom line right here whenever this button is clicked it's going to run the function and what this function is doing, it's changing the part's brick color to some random color. Okay, let's go ahead and run our code and see if it works. Okay, now that we're in the game, we should be able to click this button down here and have the part's color change. So let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, it looks like it's working. Every time I click this button, the part's color is changing. Let's go ahead and head back to the script and look at a few more other things we can change. This could very easily be changed for any of the part's properties. So, for example, if you want to change transparency, position, size, you can do that very easily by just changing the property that you want to change. Let's go and do one more thing just for fun before we end with this video. So, in addition to changing the parts color, let's go and make the button change to the same color as the part. So, to do that, we need to reference the button. Dot, and then the property that we're going to be changing is background color. And we're going to set this equal to the parts color. So, to do that, we're going to say part dot color so now whenever we click the button whatever color the part changes to the button should also change to that same color let's go ahead and try it out okay so now when I click this button you can see that it changes to the exact same color as my part this is going to be the end of this video we'll go ahead and do more with buttons in the future I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one